Hey Xsense users, this tutorial will show you how to live stream motion capture data from MBN to Unity using our MBN Live plugin. First, we'll need to get the plugin which is available for free in Unity's Asset Store. Search for MBN Live and then click Add to My Assets. Before we go into Unity, we need to configure the network streamer in MBN. For this tutorial, I'll be playing back a pre-recorded MBN file, but this process will work the same for a live session. Open the Network Streamer window by clicking this icon here. If there's not a stream already here, click this button to add one. If streaming from one computer to another, change the host IP address to match that of the computer that is running Unity, otherwise this can be left alone. The port number needs to be the same as what we'll use in the Unity project. And for Unity, we want position and orientation set to Quaternion. If you have finger or object data, check these boxes here. Lastly, make sure the stream is enabled by checking this box here. With that done, our network streamer is set up and we can move on to Unity. In Unity, we need to install and import the MVN plugin. To do so, go to the Package Manager, find MVN Live Animation, then download and import. Once that's done, go into Xsense folder, MVN Live, find the prefabs folder. To set up a basic scene, add the MBN Puppet and MBN Actors prefabs into the hierarchy. In the MBN Actors prefab, you can change the port number here to match the one set in MBN. Click on the MBN Puppet prefab and drag the Actors prefab from the hierarchy into the MBN Actors box of the Xsense Live Animator component. Now I can click play and the avatar will be receiving the live stream data. To use a custom character, we'll need to set up the character properly. For this part of the tutorial, I'll be using the Human Characters free sample pack available on the Asset Store. First, go to your character's FPX asset. In the Rig tab, set Animation Type to Humanoid. Then click Configure and make sure that your character's bones are properly mapped. The MBN plugin will not work without a full 5 finger setup, even if there's no finger data being streamed, so make sure to have the finger bones in your rig and map them here. Once that is finished, click Done. For the remapping to work, your character will need to be in a T pose. If it is not, like this character, first create a prefab. Open it and drag your character into the hierarchy. The root bone needs to be zeroed out in both position and rotation. Any positional adjustments can then be made to the hips. Additionally, the character needs to be facing the positive Z axis. Now the rest of the character can be straightened into a T-pose. Depending on your rig, you may be able to zero out the rotations for your upper arms, lower arms, and hands. If you are streaming finger data, we will need to straighten the fingers as shown here. If needed, also straighten the legs and spine. Our T-pose is now set, so we can go back to our main scene and drag this prefab into the hierarchy under the MBN puppet. I won't be using the avatar anymore at this point, so I'm going to go ahead and remove it from the prefab. In the inspector window of the MBN Puppet, change the avatar in the animator component to the avatar of your character. An animator component is not needed on your character prefab, but if there is one, make sure that controller is set to none. Now when I click play, the custom character will be receiving the live stream data. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you for watching.